Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing a squad builder in NBA 2K22, my team. And the squad builder of choice today is if you have 1 million MT. So that's as you do 100K, 500K. This is going to be for the big ballers out there. Now, it's kind of a disclaimer. I do expect the market to go down decently soon. So we're not buy players right now. Buying players, especially this weekend, is probably not going to be in your best interest. But we probably should uh, see a market decrease sometime around Christmas. Before we have any further, if you are new to the channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 90,000 subscribers. So we're going to start it off here at the point guard position with a point guard that I currently have in Diamond Penny Hardaway. Now, it is absolutely absurd to me to think that Penny Hardaway at one point, I don't know what uh, when, when he, there was a lot of him out there, they were like, he was like 50,000 MT. Like, he was so, so cheap. But this is what a fully badged out penny looks like. 86 three ball uh, with a shoe, 85 driving neck, 88 ball handle. Defensively is one of the most underrated things about penny because he is 6'7". Decent speed, lateral quickness as well. For the favorites, Dimer, Nino, third bullet passer, floor general, perfect, 42 on gold. I mean, my only downfall, my only kind of thing I can say bad about this penny hardaway card is the fact that he has a really baited release that's the only thing i can say bad about penny hardaway but to start off my squad i'm gonna go with penny hardaway so he would be my starting point guard in my 1 million mt squad build the second guy is another card that i actually have a lot of these cards are probably going to be cards that i have then so you guys know that this is a true video right this video is a hundred percent valid Next guy is James Harden. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to explain why we don't use all of the uh, million MT. We use around 900K. Uh, and I'll explain why. But you can get a, the cheapest James Harden for around 50K right now. 52K. Again, uh, not the best James Harden you're going to find. But for 52,000 MT, you can add James Harden to your lineup. What does James Harden give you alongside Penny? Well, I don't really make plays that well with Penny because he has a bad release. Harden can move and groove on either gen. I think he's better on next gen than current gen. But, I mean, you look at a 94 three ball, good driving deck, 80 ball handle. Defensively is solid enough. Five hollow, or four base Hall of Fame badges. Mine has five. And then you look at all these gold badges. I mean, James Harden's pretty complete. If you look at the card, there's not many things James Harden can't do on the court. And I think pairing him alongside Penny Hardaway is, is just kind of the best for both of them, right? Penny Hardaway can guard, you know, the two or three. Harden can hold his own guarding the opponents too. And then you have a pure lock at the three in Andre Kirilenko. So it's weird to me to think that Penny Hardaway's prices went so far up. And you look at AK, who I still think is the best small forward lockdown defender in all of 2K. And you can dang near get a badged up AK for, I mean, you know, pretty cheap, 50,000 MT, probably if you find the right one. And that is just absolutely absurd. Obviously, my AK is going to be fully badged with a diamond shoe. 83 three ball, 70 driving deck, 86 pointer. But look at the defense. 90 block steel, 90 perimeter, 80 into your good rebounder, 91 speed, 94 base lateral quidditch. Hub name, chase down his clamps, focus stick to spinner, 32 gold badges, which is just absolutely ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure all of the silver badges he has, they could be upgraded, as you guys can see. My AK is not even all the way fully badged, but I think for 40,000 MT, you're looking pretty good. So, so far with our first three players, you're looking at right around that 200K MT price point. So at the power forward, we're going to spend some MT and I want to plug in Giannis, but I don't have enough MT. So who is the second best power forward to plug in there? It's Pink Diamond Dolph Shays. I hope we get a gag sale with Dolph Shays at some point. But for now, the big diamond Dolph Shays is going to have to do. Now, on my thing, I put 150,000 MT because I think you can get a Dolph, a mass Dolph for right around the 150K price point. If he does end up costing you a little bit more, I mean, I have some room to spare. It's probably part of the reason I only spend 900K. So I want to make sure you guys can get all these players. But you want to get the mass one for tendencies more than anything. But 6 a 88 base, 3 ball, 85 driving deck, 83 ball handle. Decent block steal. Pretty defense isn't great. Would like to see that a little bit higher, but a 90 interior solid. Great rebounder, 89 speed, 89 lateral quickness. 
Again, the masked offs tendencies are going to be absolutely ridiculous in the defensive kind of category. Look at these defensive tendencies. Just absolutely ridiculous that a based offs can have Hall of Fame catch, shoot, quarter specialist, rebound, chaser, set, shooter, limitless, takeoff. 31 gold badges as well, which is just absurd with seven on silver. Fully badged Dolph Chase is a guy I actually wish I never would have sold. I did sell him and I kind of regret it, but I mean, he's a guy I wish I never would have sold. At the starting center position, we're going to plug in a top center in the game. Top two. At, at the primary center position, he's the best center in the game, and I don't even think it is close. Where's my man at? Am I missing him? Am I, am I missing something? There he is. David Robinson here. The pink diamond D-Rob. Not put down 200k for D-Rob. It doesn't really matter whether you get this D-Rob or the other one. The only difference really is the limitless spot up. 7-1. Good three ball. Can't handle the ball, I will say. But defensively on the interior, going to be able to hold it down. Upper 90s interior defense. Decent enough rebounder. Decent speed lateral quickness. The main thing I like about D-Rob, the base D-Rob card, is going to have Hall of Fame rebound chaser and rim protector. Combine that. Post lockdown and Tyus defender, you're looking at a very good card. Gold Interceptor is solid as well. Gets clamps. Really gets any badge in the game. Again, if you get the 75th anniversary, you're going to be able to put range extender on him. I don't think that matters too much. I mean, if you look at my squad, yes, I'm kind of balling on a budget, but I got the, the just flash D-Rob right now. And he's fine for me, right? D-Rob holds it down for me. I, I say I got the base one as he has Hall of Fame clamps, but he definitely holds it down for me. I like D-Rob quite a bit. And he definitely is at that starting center position. So pretend this Jaron Jackson Jr. is Dolph Shays. And this is what your starting lineup would look like for just over 500,000 MT. Now, since we don't have any reward cards, it's tough. The guy I wanted to plug in at the back of point guard position, but just couldn't find a way to get him in was John Wall. If you have any extra MT to spend, this is a card that I, I mean, the, by far away the second best auctionable point guard of the game, and I don't even think it's close. Like, after Penny and John Wall, I just think there's a massive, massive gap in auctionable point guards. Obviously, you got Dame that's up there. Obviously, you got you got guys like Gary. But the difference between the, the all the pink diamonds, if you go to Pistol Pete, Steph Curry, and this Alex Caruso card is not very large. Alex Caruso card, you're going to be able to add to your squad for right around 15,000 MT, 6'4", 85, 3 by 85, driving duck, 86 ball. And look at the defense, 81 block, 95 steel, 89 perfect defense, good interior, 88 speed, 94 ladder quickness. Decent badge-wise as well. I mean, 40 base badges for an Amethyst card is not bad, especially when you take into consideration he does have the Hall of Fame Interceptor. Crusoe's not a card that's going to, you know, you're, get a lot of attention because, remember, he's an Amethyst the 99 maxed out stat is past perception, which, I mean, for a 99 stat, that's one you don't really care about too much. He's he's okay. Alex Crusoe is an okay card to run. And at the back of point guard position, he can more than hold it down. And the reason he can hold it down is because you're going to pair him with a guy like Clay Thompson. Now, this Clay is pretty souped. I'm guessing for around 200K, you can just get a fully badged Clay. Let's try see if I can find, you know, just a fully badged Clay like this one, even though it is diamond, diamond. For 200k, I think you're going to be able to get yourself a Clay Thompson, who even despite all the new players in my team, I still think Clay is our best shooting guard on both gens in my team. 96 base, 3 ball, 75 driving deck, 95 bono, 80 block for a base card. I think it's 93 steel base, 95 perimeter, 69 interior, 90 base steel, as well as a 95 lateral quickness. The most underrated part about this Clay Thompson card is the fact that uh, that his defense is immaculate people don't think of clay as you know defensively uh but he is a very very good defender in general clay my clay is obviously souped a little more but just the base clay is gonna have you know a total of 59 badges which is just absolutely ridiculous like at that point you're only missing you know 20 or so badges and most of them are in the in on the interior it doesn't really matter too much clay thompson my favorite shooting guard in all of my team and a card that i'm a big big fan of Small four position. Initially, I had Mikael Bridges in here. I think if you really want to save some extra MT, you can just plug Mikael Bridges in here and he will be just fine. Now, if you're willing to spend the mill MT that I'm talking about, I think this guy gives you just a little bit more at that small four position. And this is Andrew Wiggins, right? If you can get a fully badged Andrew Wiggins, I have it down for 70K because, I mean, there are some Andrew Wiggins up here uh, that I looked at earlier that were at 70K. Now you're looking at 90K for Andrew Wiggins, which is fine. Then let's just look at this one for 100K and see what you can get with Andrew Wiggins for 100K. 
an 84 three ball, 99 driving dunk, 86 pointer. Look at the defense, 88 block, 88 steal, 91 perimeter, 82 interior. Rebounding stats aren't great, but it does come with a 93 speed and a 90 lateral quickness. Five Hall of Fame badges. Feel this finish your pro strides are unstrippable, limitless takeoff, fast twitch with 44 gold badges. I mean, I'm gonna be able to get range extender, limitless spot up, everything else. I just think Andrew Wiggins is a tad, tad, tad bit better than Mikael Bridges. I'd give him sniper handles for days, some of those badges, uh, maybe even Intimidator. But when you fully badge out Andrew Wiggins and find the right one for you, I think you're going to like the card quite a bit. Power four position, our cheapest card on the slate here is Jonathan Isaac. And I mean, if you don't want to plug in Jonathan Isaac, you can go with Jaron Jackson Jr. Who I honestly prefer maybe slightly over Jonathan Isaac. Most people wouldn't though. And so because this video is for you guys, Jonathan Isaac is the guy I'm going to be talking about here. Now, I just sniped that Jonathan Isaac for 1,000 MT. If you could get Jonathan Isaac for 1,000 MT, that is a definitely uh, a big W for you guys. I'm just going to make, you know, a quick 700 MT right there. But Jonathan Isaac's a guy you can plug into your squad. At 6'11", he's just going to be a long, lengthy defender that can shoot the ball a little bit. Is he going to be the best card in the game? No, because, I mean, he does lack some things. But an 84 three ball, 85 driving down, good enough ball handle. Defensive stats are amazing. You guys might be wondering, well, Ty, what does he lack? What he lacks is strength, speed with ball. Those are the two things that I notice most with Jonathan Isaac, as well as he only has 31 base uh, badges. I mean, those, those three things are really what kills Jonathan Isaac. People want to compare him to Giannis. That comparison is invalid. He's not comparable to Giannis. But for what he gives you in a Sapphire card for 1,000, uh, I got it for 1,000 MT, but 2,000 MT realistically is what you're going to be able to, uh, what you're going to be able to sell him, uh, get him for. He is a very, very solid option. The center position was a tough one. After D-Rob, if you look at auctionable centers, it goes down. I mean, it goes down for auctionable centers. I, I, people want to talk about Marcus Gasol, all these cards. This card is... I, I don't love the card, but he's a card I can buy and I can compete with in any type of a game. That's what I think about with Tim Duncan. I'm not going to sit here and gas Tim Duncan and say he's, you know, the best card in the game or anything crazy like this. But he's a card that you can pick up. And if you get a fully badged one, this one looks a little bit badged, not fully badged one. But if you get a fully badged Tim Duncan... Here's what you're getting. I'm just going to look for a fully badged team. This one has 12 Hall of Famers. So let's say you pick him up. Let's just compare him to KG. 83 ball compared to my KG's 86 three ball. Not that big of a difference. Driving dunk a little bit. Tim Duncan handles the ball better. Defensively, very similar. Outside of the fact that KG is just going to be a little bit quicker and has, a, has quite a bit better vertical. But here's the thing I want you guys to know. Look at the difference in badges. Tim Duncan, this one's obviously Super Hall of Fame catch and shoot, but both have Interceptor, both have Rim, both have Intimidator, Rebound Chase. I mean, this one has Hall of Fame Bullet. Tim Duncan, as far as a center that can compete with the likes of a Hakeem, of a KG, of a D-Rob, is your next best option. And I think if you can get a fully badged Tim Duncan for 100,000 MT, you're doing really well. Now, that's going to be hard to do. You're going to have to time it right. But if you get a fully badged Tim Duncan for 100,000 MT, you're doing something right. I never thought I'd put Tim Duncan in this video, but as I was looking at things, I was like, well, for 100,000 MT, let's plug him in this video. So when I did the math, it came out to about a 900, a little over 900K, 930,000 MT. What do you do with that extra MT? Use it on getting these players that are badged up. For example, Penny Hardaway. If you have to spend a little more than 100K to get a badged up one, do it. Same thing with Andre Kirilenko, D-Rob, Clay, all these guys. Spend that extra bit of MT to get them fully badged. If I was to go into my team unlimited today with 100, with 1 million MT, this is the squad I would want to go out there with. It's a squad that I think can compete on both ends of the court. You're well balanced defensively, offensively, all the way around. And I think this is the type of squad that can compete in any type of a setting. I want to know your thoughts down below in the, in the comments. When you guys have found a way to get, you know, the new Jimmy Butler, Dr. J in this, it's hard because they're new players, so you don't know what they're going to settle for. When you guys have found a way to get Giannis in this video, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Again, if you have reward cards like Gary Payton, that saves you a little bit of MT. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.